Are you missing layups like this? Or this? Or this? Or is it just me? Because I don't fucking know. But at the end of the day, I can I can help you out, man. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Donnie, man. Check me out, man. I made me a post score. Now, if you want to see the bill, let me know. I'll drop the bill for you guys, though. But today, I got some tips and tricks to help you guys become a better post score. Now, a lot of people don't like post scores. Rightfully so, all right? But here's my thing. They only really effective in 1v1, all right? If you bring a pure post score anywhere else, you can. I ain't saying everybody can, though but you can expose them because of their speed most of the time. But I'm about to help y'all figure out how to become a better post score, all right? So the thing that really irritates me is how hard it is to hit post hooks, all right? Very hard to do that. Now, of course, nobody's right here, but I promise you, there are so many times where I've shot post hooks and they have registered as light pressure when they're really not even there. Like the ball is way out of my hands or way higher than them, but it's still getting a light pressure. And then also, it is very hard to time these motherfuckers, bro. The only time you'll really be able to do them is if they are sitting right under the paint. That's literally the only time they'd have to be right under that paint not contesting that motherfucker at all for you to have a very good chance at making that. Other than that, I would never recommend to do post hooks. I don't think they gonna buff that motherfucker, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's one thing. Another thing, I would say, if you don't know how to time the layups to go NA, all right? A lot of people do the NA shit. That's where you got the real player percentage layups. A lot of people do that. I'm pretty sure there are top ranked people that do that. And it's probably the most effective thing to do. So I have mines on normal risk. The high risk, I'm over here missing every fucking thing, bro. If it's not green, it's not going in at all. I promise you, you will never see a white go in. If a white go in, 2K fuck with you. I'm trying to tell you. So I went to normal risk. I have to still time all of my layups, but occasionally I'm able to make whites and I can make a lot of contested layups. Even though, as I said, with this real player percentage, you can. I done seen so many people make real player percentage contested shots no matter what i'm right there and they still make it so i mean if that's you you can but me i can't do it bro i like to be able to time my shit to try to put a little bit more skill into it but i would say the most effective way is to definitely go real player percentage next is your positioning now whenever i'm backing somebody down i like to come from this angle because this is the most comfortable that i am now i can come from the other side and i can do it from the other side like this and then drop step but i feel way more comfortable at doing it on this side because I have a higher chance of getting the best animation. So I'll post them all the way down here. There is no three seconds in the 1v1 Proving Grounds. I can't say for anywhere else, but in the Proving Grounds, there is no three seconds. I'll fake, and by faking, since the ball is in my player's right hand, I flick it left and he does it. I mean, you could do it either way, but I flick left in for this instant, so then he could go that way, all right? So I just keep doing that. That kind of just baits because a lot of people like to reach, right? So if they keep reaching, you have a very good chance of having them use all of their adrenaline and then you can just drop step them and they can't do nothing about it because people will spam you and rightfully so rightfully fucking so bro. I would too. Trust me. I will spam left and right and it is very effective. So I would say implement this just to try to catch them off guard. I mean, if they go for it, they go for it. If they don't, they don't. But hey, at least it gives you a way better chance at not getting the ball stolen or stripped from you. Next, a lot of people press up on you. You're a post scorer. You're not fast. You don't have no dribbling, right? So whenever you start, they'll give you the ball about right here. Maybe further, maybe shorter, right? So they pass the ball in and they're pressing you as they should. That is the easiest thing to do and it is the most effective thing to do. So since they have a good distance before they get to you, what I do is I just start running away and then I hurry up, keep flicking my stick left and right. I'm holding RT the whole time and I just go left, right, left, right. I am able to get past a lot of people and a lot of times they miss their reach and then you're able to get an easy dunk or whatever. Because as I said, if they were to do it the whole time, if they can't stop it, then they'll back up though. But if it really is helping them, they're going to keep doing it. So you want to show them to stop doing that because I'm going to get easy buckets every time. And you do that very consistently, they will most likely stop making it 10 times easy for you because you're not wasting any adrenaline or your stamina trying to get get the ball to the fucking basket. And then if they're playing very far back, as I said, and they don't have their hands up, what I would say is just do the post hook or 
if you really toxic as fuck, bro, just take your ass all the way down there. Make sure you got the right angle, drop step, and then go up. Another thing, my problem was, was that I was trying to use the right stick for layups. I want to lay the ball up where the defender is not, right? So if they're on my, the right side of this basket, I want to lay the ball up on the other side. So I would use a stick. That shit would never fucking work because it would be so hard to fucking time the shit. Hey, as I said, it might be a me problem or whatever, bro, but I'll get the most ass fucking animations possible by using this freaking right stick that ass the, the worst shit possible once i just said you know what forget it i drop step and just hit x that shit turned my player into a shack no skill involved in it bro just tap x tap x and try to time it. It, it just in case they give you a layup like predict that you're getting a layup so make sure you're ready to time every single time even if you get a dunk just be ready to fucking time it just in case and then if they're playing you way too high up man bro if you don't post spin the fuck out of them bro that is the easiest my shit is on legend right now i had it on hall of fame before i never got so many throwing them animations until i put that bitch on legendary people who make bills to stop the post scoring they had nothing for that especially if you catch them off guard so like if they're leaning more towards this side if they're leaning more towards this side you just hurry up just post spin that way and they'll throw them every time other way if they're leaning more towards that side you hurry up and just throw them easy as shit bro it's free as fuck especially because that bitch is on legendary now i ain't high in the ranks so i'm pretty sure a lot of people have way better bills to stop but as far as right now i just hit go that shit works fucking beautiful then another thing i also wanted to be able to hear it floaters because on my bill i get float game hall of fame i'm over here thinking that shit gonna do something it don't do not a damn fucking thing for me i hate it i can't do post hooks and i can't do floats you know what i'm saying because my theory was if they instead of doing the post hooks because i knew that the post hooks wasn't working if they playing back man just do that just do that every time thinking that that shit would be very fucking effective hell fucking no because it's a inconsistent ass animation I, and you see me timing these bitches i'm i'm timing them I'm timing them the best I can. Every time. The best I can. That's late. You don't know what the fuck they gonna give you. Now, if somebody is able to master that, bro, all kudos to you. But me, hell fucking no. I just had to resort to just being fat as fuck. Just, just being fat, bro. Like, if you're going to be on a post score, bro, at this point and you want to win, bro, there's literally only one way to play, bro. And it's sad because I, I want to. I want to do post hooks. Post fades is crazy as fuck, too. So I got 22 old with just fucking post fades. I'm over here trying to do all this finesse stuff. I was trying. It didn't work. But once I decided, you know what? Forget it. Just be fat. Be as fat as possible. That's when my build turned into fucking Shaq all of a sudden, bro. Because I'm over here trying to use the stick to try to dunk on people. Can't time that motherfucker for shit. Hell no. Nah bro could not time that bitch for shit maybe a skill issue may not be i don't know i could not time that bitch for nothing but i was trying though right i was trying bro but once i went brain dead with it bro the build just fucking turned into god i don't know so at that point you, i gotta do what the fuck i gotta do to get these wins man you feel me and it's not even like i don't know how to time them i know how to time them it's just hard as hell with somebody right under that motherfucker bro that shit hard as hell you can have them under and it's still hard as hell so for my proving ground right my rank and then 1v1, as I said, I just hit go. I won 33 games out of the 44 that I played. And I promise you all those ones, besides one, all of those ones were my fault. Just because I was trying to put skill into it, bro. Pointless ass fucking losses, bro. I was trying to do post hooks. I was trying to do floats. Just wouldn't that work. And then, as I said, I one win, bro. That motherfucker just dropped me the fuck off. I'm not gonna lie. He boxed me the fuck up and just was hitting them damn post fades, bro. The smoothest 22 I have ever got dropped on me bro the smoothest shit i couldn't even be mad i fucking had to like him bro dropped me off but all the other ones was my fucking fault but now ever since i just said you know what forget it bro i'm just gonna be fat this motherfucker wanted to be fat and then also i put boost on i don't say i'm not gonna say you gotta put them for every single game because of course it costs money but if you're gonna put boost on you need to put driving dunk you don't have to put steals if your build does not have steals you need to put blocks you need to put rebounding and you need to put ball handle that stops motherfuckers from getting the ball or stripping the ball away from you whenever you try to go up to do a drop hook or whatever now would they still be able to get it probably but i'm trying to tell you it makes a world of a change bro once i put it on 
I have still not gotten one ball stripped away from me without it being called a foul. But once I take it off, that's when they start coming back. So it, it has to be something. With the dunk, this boost, especially with me hitting X, made a word of a difference. My motherfucking build acting different. As I said, my build just started acting fucking different for no reason. I didn't even recognize him no more. And then the last thing I would say is your takeover. A lot of people probably like the barbecue chicken or the diesel. As you see from my build, a lot of my stuff gets maxed out relatively fast. You know what I'm saying? I have very high strength. I already have a very high close shot. The only thing that isn't that high is my standing dunk. So I went with something to actually help my gameplay. And what helped my gameplay was the steal. So you get an increase to your interior defense, your block, and your standing dunk. So maxed out, I have a 97 standing dunk, a 98 interior defense, and a maxed out block. It helps way more for 1v1 though. This is this is the 1v1 takeover that I use for 1v1 and 1v1 only. If I'm playing wreck with the build, which I really don't recommend because you are slow as fuck, I put rebounding whenever I want to play wreck or anything. Or I'm just trying to goof around and just do some shit. You know what I'm saying? But 1v1, the stilt, bro, is the best shit for my build because I need more interior defense to guard other post scores i need my black to be higher also to guard other post scores and my standing dunk is only a 90. that extra boost to it to damn near have a 99 standing dunk makes a world of a difference this is also what is helping my build because now i get more stops so that means i can have the ball more and get more to my dunk because my drop steps is already good my rebounding is already good i just need to be able to get a bucket and me being able to dunk it instead of laying the ball up 10 times fucking easier i promise you so if you like these little tips and tricks man go ahead and just drop a like comment your opinion about it let me know how you feel about it and if anything that i'm telling you actually helps because i'm very curious as i said this shit is what's working for me and it helped me reach gold because before i was just struggling as i said i, I lost a lot of games 11 games compared to those top ranked people bro i have like a 70 win percentage 70 75 win percentage a lot of them is like like 80 85 you know what i'm saying so if i'm able to go into gold and get my win percentage up to the 80 85 range then that means that my tips really work and if you want to see the build video also drop a like comment let me know i will drop that as soon as i can i'll catch you on the next one yes sir